Hi, I'm Deb, here again with Deco Fun, and today I want to look at gift wrapping. And I know that sometimes that can be intimidating, so what I've done is I've done a simple version of setup here. Um, I am putting some ribbon on that I pre-cut onto this box, and this is going to be sort of like a window pane. Uh, just put that little with a, a quick little knot there and what I want to do is show you again quickly if you haven't seen before how deco fun works it's very simple you are just remembering three things you are coming around a rod going through the center hoops back around the rod and always going in the same direction and that's what gives you your bow so um, I'm going to slip some ribbon in and I've chosen two equal positions and I'm going to bring the ribbon around the rod back through the center hoop again now around this rod through the center hoops again one more time I have two on this side coming around once more it gives me two on this side and here we go so I've got this uh, with uh, two even tails and this time unlike how I've done it before where I've used a piece of tie wire I have a piece of ribbon and I think this is kind of pretty with the other ribbons that I have so um, I'm cutting off a piece and I'm actually going to bring the ribbon under and let me turn it this way so it's a little easier for you to see and bring it around and if you can see, I hope my fingers aren't in the way. I am tying this off. Okay, we had a little interruption there. So I am tying this around again. And let me just make sure it looks good. So there you can see that. And uh, what I'm gonna do is pull it off of the bow maker and change the broad positions. And you can see again, they're even. And now I'm taking another piece. I had pre-cut these because these are a length that I like to use. Now in this case, you can see I've actually just picked up the bow maker. Now, this is another way of going around the rods through the center hoops and then back, always going in the same direction. If you, for some reason, want to pick it up, you can leave it stationary, of course. And you know that I had I tied this off. I left it a little bit loose. I can uh, pull this in just a little bit and I can come around and again I hope that you can see what I'm doing let's if I can get my fingers out of the way so that you can see what I've done here Is that and so again in this case I'm not using any tie wire and I'm just going to bring this first bow around and now I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to open the tails. And you can see that I've got the tails going in a couple of different directions just um, because I just think it, it adds a little um, fun fluff. And now I'm, what I'm going to do is set this onto this box. So here I've got another pre-measured amount. I like this amount for the box. And you can see I didn't actually wrap it this time um, because I really wanted to focus on the ribbon. So what I'm going to do is, actually I'll show it to you this way. I'm going to bring these pieces of ribbon under the one that I had tied earlier. So if you see that. And then I'm going to just take the piece of ribbon from each of the loose ends and tie it around and give it a nice tight little tie there and open the loops and there you have it thanks for watching